So since I'm ovulating, I'm like, I'm in that headspace. Yeah. Everything is just like, pregnancy! Thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video, but more on that later. No. It's so... No, 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 no. No dancing, no stomping on the table. You need to sit on your bum at your chair. No smiling either. No smiling. Say with me. Aloha, professors. Aloha. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog, you guys. We need to get ready for our day and breastfeed Molly at the same time. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's set up. Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen. Hold on. Okay, here we go. The background noise today is our train track. So, sorry. And Calvin chewing on cashews. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm just getting ready for the day. It's getting close to one o'clock. Uh-huh. You're copying me. I've been uh, doing some school with Ivy this morning and also taking some of the kids to some classes. Not school classes, but fun activity classes. And now back at home, I am finally getting ready for the day. It is such a beautiful day outside. It's like sunny and cloudy and not too cold. No. Not too cold at all. So I think we're gonna go to an orchard, an apple farm. Doesn't that sound like so much fun? So much fun. The train is eating her toe. The train is eating her toe. Usually when it comes to like everyday stuff, I don't wear makeup, but if I'm going out to an orchard or to church or something, I like to go ahead, put on a little bit of makeup. And you know what? Makeup and breastfeeding, good combo. Good combo. I was gonna do this while we were driving, but I had this idea that it would fling into someone's eyeball if their window was open. Yeah, it's like shrapnel. Yeah. <laughs> Ivy does, that's has music. music enrichment, and it usually leads Kieran to like showing her the orchestra or whatever of the song being played. Yeah, we watched. Yeah, uh, so on to my next point. We usually get a little bit lost in what we're watching. We'll watch okay. other kind of funny, entertaining music videos with that type of music. It's not lost. We're getting the full experience. Well, I'm so dizzy from the videos we were watching. I'm so, they were I'm also dizzy insane. Too. I'm um, surprised the, I'm not throwing up my oatmeal right now. Yeah. The first one, yeah. We've been on an oatmeal binge recently. It's good for you. <clears throat> it's good for your heart. And it's good for my milk supply. And you can take it on no, the go. No addiction is good. Yeah, what addiction is good? It's a great question. The Lord. Uh, Wait, is this the point of the video where we overthink things? No. And I have to heavily edit it because it just goes on for like 10 minutes. Why are you blocking this whole intersection, Mr. Dump Truck? He said dump truck, kids. Dump truck. Not dumb truck. <clears throat> How about obsession? You know, obsession? Yeah, exactly. So what's the difference between obsession and addiction? I'm obsessed with God. I'm addicted to God. It's like, is it, isn't addicted like you I'm can't, obsessed you with ha you. can't have enough? It's like, you, Whoa. Like you, yeah. you need it? Like. Well, isn't that how you, we're supposed to be towards the Lord? Regardless of whether we take him, we need him. Yes, for flourishing. For but it's drive. true. Addiction is usually in a negative sense. this cool like jumping trampoline thing and Elizabeth doesn't want to go on because she doesn't want to go on and I don't want to go on because I might pee.
pee my pants. But other than that, I, I would really love to go on. Maybe I will go on. Update, I have not peed my pants yet, but we're pretty close. This is the difference between Elizabeth and our other kids. Our other kids go up this to go down a slide. Elizabeth goes up it to see if she can find a ladybug. Ladybug! I think someone's having more fun than the kids at this point. We're back at home. We did stop by our local bakery to, mildly embarrassing, but to get sourdough. My starter is just not ready yet. I fed it this morning and last night I fed it too and it just, it didn't, it didn't look good. So decided to get some sourdough at the store. We have frozen soup, which is actually no longer frozen, but it was this morning. That's gonna heat up kind of a strong soup so I'm going to get some cashews and we're gonna boil them to soften them blend it up in my Vitamix and it'll just create a nice kind of creamy not very flavorful additive to our very strong tomato soup okay we need a pot Are you excited for your kiwi co box? I'm going to boil these to soften mm -hmm. these cashews. Mm -hmm. A nice, simple dinner. Yeah. And while dinner is in the mix, while it's happening, let's go ahead and thank our sponsor, which is Kiwi Co. We have Farm for Calvin and Number Plate Come Sit for Elizabeth. Come sit. Oh, can you? KiwiCo is a subscription box service. There are eight different types of subscription boxes you can choose from, whether you are a newborn or 104 years old, maybe older, KiwiCo has something for you. They curate these boxes around the idea of STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. These are super fun for the kids. It puts them into the shoes of being a creator, a maker, and as a parent, that's honestly just really cool to see. Calvin, you've got a farm box. Look, Cal, you're gonna create your own farm. And Mike is gonna get yellow. We've been longtime users of KiwiCo boxes. Everything that you need is in the box, so there's no reason for you to go out to a store and get glue or stickers or extra supplies. It's all right in here. The things that we have our kids do today will affect their tomorrows. It might be a small thing today, but it could turn into quite a big thing tomorrow. Look, it's a one, two, three book for you. Four, five, six. And also, I hate to be the voice of reason and news, but Christmas is coming up soon. These are going to be amazing holiday gifts for someone really special in your life. And the coolest thing is, is that it's not just gonna last for while the Christmas decorations are up, but it can last the entire year. If you guys wanna go ahead and check out KiwiCo, they literally ship to over 40 countries. Click the link down below or go to kiwico.com forward slash Sarah and you can get 50% off your first crate. Thank you, Kiwi. Kiwi Coat for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna go ahead and get going with this project and I'll see you guys at dinner. I feel like we hugely neglected dishes today.
you guys want my recipe for my creamy tomato soup, it's vegan and I have a crying baby and it's made with cashew cream and I can link it down below. It's on my website. Molly. Molly. Molly, it's okay. Molly's hungry. Molly's hungry. I find every single time I myself am eating dinner, I'm breastfeeding her at the same time. It kind of just goes hand in hand. I eat, she eats. And I feel like she is definitely, just like my other kids, the fussiest around dinner time. It's into the evening. We're at like 6.30, getting close to 7. I'm in my jams, and I am watering my plants. All my plants, not all my plants, a lot of my plants are placed up high just so they're out of kids' reach. This is a philocordidum, and He's honestly, he's kind of slowly dying, but he's been with me for years. That's the mama plant. And then if we walk over here, that is the baby plant. That came from the mama from propagation. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and, okay, there's water spilled on the floor. Hold on. Thing with kids, sometimes you just get water spilled all over the floor. If I was a kid and I saw a watering can on the floor, I would probably tilt it too. So it's a balancing game. Ivy's just finishing up her shower. All the kids got showered and bathed today. So we got a super fun thing in the mail. I remember always getting the toy catalogs growing up and you would go through and be like, mama, this looks good. Mama, this looks good. So Calvin's looking at some things. I think tomorrow we'll maybe bring out a marker and then we can go ahead and circle on some things that we're really liking. I want that one. this one. Lego. The kids are really I want, I want into this Lego. One. I would like this one. That one too? Yeah, I am. They're all cool. They're all cool. I'm going to take you guys upstairs. We're going to finish watering some plants. You can see Molly is sleeping. I have my plants in my room to do. We are at the end of the night. Kids are in bed, Molly is by my feet. We just put a nice blanket down for Molly and that's just perfect so you can hang out with me and yeah, you can kind of barf everywhere. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna quickly do some skincare. I just felt kind of dirty after being at the apple orchard farm. So I was like, I want to totally shower, do a little bit of skincare with you guys. I just got the Youth to the People Mandelic Acid and Superfood Unity Exfoliant. I'm just gonna put this on one of my reusable cotton rounds. Oh, you wanna know how many times I've cried today? Three, do you wanna know what I was crying about? Babies. I looked at my kids this morning at the breakfast table and I, I didn't just cry. I was like weeping. I'm not an emotional person, but postpartum will usually make me pretty emotional. And to be honest, if I'm gonna be emotional about something, it's usually my children. My kids just bring out like this completely different level of emotion <laughs> in my life. I'm gonna use the ordinary niacinamide and zinc. If you have acne, like just get this. It's 10 bucks at Sephora. It lasts a good amount of time. I do this morning and night when I put this on. Yes, I do. And and I really like it, Molly. And one day, I'm sure maybe you will too, if they still make it. Anyway, this morning, crying about kids. And then, and then I remembered Kieran when Elizabeth just started walking at eight months old. She walked really early. He was doing up these kind of like pearl buttons on her little lace dress who was doing up the buttons on her back and then held her hand and walked down the hall with her. And I was like, she's gonna get married soon. Legit. Like that's that's just what I felt like. I'm gonna use the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. Where is this time going? And then I've realized for the past two days, I've been ovulating. That adds a whole other level of like emotion. Like most girls I feel like get like hormonal during their period, not me. It's when I'm ovulating. And then, and then I was like, Sarah, you're ovulating. 
you could get pregnant again. <laughs> Everything is just like pregnancy. Everything. <sighs> pregnancy. <laughs> so since I'm ovulating, I'm like, I'm in that headspace. Do I want to be pregnant right now? No. Do I want to be pregnant in 2022? Yes, absolutely. I keep telling Kieran, just one more baby. I, I feel like I didn't go through my pregnancy with Molly, um, or even my postpartum thinking, this is my last time. I went through it being like, one more after this. Even when I was in labor, I was like, one more. So that's, whoa, that's where I'm at. So weird for me, because it just brings me so many extra emotions that a lot of the time I forget I have until I'm postpartum and start ovulating again and I'm like oh yeah I want children and I feel sometimes more normal when I'm pregnant than when I'm not. Anyone feel like that where you're just like and I was talking to some moms today about this what is normal anymore if you've continually ridden a cycle that's like not pregnant, pregnant, postpartum, not pregnant, pregnant, postpartum, you know, and it just, well, more like pregnant, postpartum, pregnant, postpartum. Apparently it takes like six years for your body and even just your mind after a baby to fully recover and like recoup. And I just had a kid like two months ago, so this ovulation is giving me a little bit of bloat and a lot of just baby like, I want one more baby. The thing is, Molly is still so little. And I get so many people telling me, you won't want another one until you're out of the baby stage. But when I'm in the baby stage, that's when I'm like, I want another one. Like, when I'm out of the baby stage, in my heart, I'm kind of like, maybe I'm done. But when I'm in the baby stage, I'm like, ooh. Ooh. I love it, love it, love it, love it. What I am gonna quickly do, I did a little bit of a, well, a little bit. I did a shoot yesterday with Kieran for an upcoming um, collection, like collaboration, and I forgot to self tan my face. I use the Salty Face Clean Gradual Face Tan. It's like a water. I love you so much. It's like a water, but I forgot to use it day before yesterday, so I was ready for yesterday. So today I was like, I need to remember to do it. I need to remember, you put it right over top of your skincare. It gives you like the most beautiful tint and glow. You can tell I'm a fair skinned person because my skin goes really rosy. Like it's what it does. There's no pigment to hide my rosiness. But anyway, does any, any other mamas feel like that? Like postpartum, was there ever a point where you were like, oh, I'm done? Or did you continually feel like you wanted more? Or was stopping easy? Was stopping hard? Like, I know I definitely want one more. I'm just trying to kind of like in my brain figure out, will there be a point where I will ever just want to stop? And I'm sure, I don't think I want more than five kids, but God has a sense of humor. So we'll see. I hope he doesn't decide to express his sense of humor here, but like, he is, he is good, and I want, I want to follow, obviously, his plan, because it's the best plan. Lord willing, sometime next year, like, get pregnant next year, it would be really cool. Anyway, I'm going to brush my teeth and say goodnight to you guys. Thank you for being here and watching today's vlog. I hope you're doing super well, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!